Let's balance the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Cs3PO4. This is silver nitrate and this is cesium phosphate. So the first thing we need to do is we need to balance the molecular equation. This up here, this is the molecular equation. I can see I have one silver atom here and three here. Let's put a three in front of the silver nitrate. So that balances the silver atoms. Now we have these three nitrates. If we put a three here, we'll have three nitrates, but we'll have three cesium atoms. That's okay, we already have three here. We have a phosphate and a phosphate. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we're gonna write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Nitrates, compounds with the nitrate ion, very soluble. So we write aqueous and then cesium phosphate. Phosphates are almost always insoluble except when they're with group one elements or with the ammonium ion. Cesium, that's in group one. So this ends up being soluble. It's gonna be aqueous split apart into its ions. Silver phosphate, that's insoluble like most phosphates. So that's gonna be a solid that's gonna to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's gonna give us the complete ionic equation. Note we don't split solids apart in net ionic equation. So the silver phosphate, that's gonna to stay together. When we split them apart, it looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. So now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants right here, I see there are three nitrate ions. And then in the products down here, again, three nitrate ions. These are spectator ions. We can cross these out. Three of these cesium ions, three down here in the products. Cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Cs3PO4. I'll clean it up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate and cesium phosphate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have three times one plus, that's three plus, but we have this three minus. So this all adds up to zero. On this side, we have a neutral compound. So net charge of zero. Charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Cs3PO4. So nitrate and cesium phosphate. Thanks for watching.